Yo, what is going on YouTube, man? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing out there? Today, we're sitting here with some Steven Stills treetop flyer, okay? This is a donation request via Buy Me A Coffee, so thank you so much for supporting the channel in that way. Really appreciate that. Let's go ahead and read this one off. It says, Hi, Sean. I know you love Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young, but this one is a solo written and sung by Steven Stills with just an acoustic guitar. The song, Treetop Flyer, I'll have to admit, watching this video got me a bit dizzy. I guess you'll see why. I love songs that tell a story. This one from 1991. Hope you and others like it. And as always, uh, just get to it when you have time. Keep rocking, bro. Your friend, Jen. You'll appreciate that, Jen. Let's go ahead, dive into this one. Obviously, just like you said, I'm loving Crosby, Stills, Nash, Young, together or separate. I think I've only done one song from Steven Stills separate. However, I know I've done some songs that he's written, but that the group has performed. So I have heard some of his stuff that he's written for the group uh, to help him perform. So let's go ahead and check this one out. Treetop Flyer, Steven Stills. See what we got here, man. I'm not looking forward to a dizzy video, though. One thing, uh, dizziness, man. Oh, it's. I feel bad when I go to the park with the kids. Like I'll get on other rides with them, roller coaster and stuff. But the things that spin, I'm just like kids. I cannot do it. I can't stomach it. So let's see if I can make it through this. Just feeling fine. Uh, if not, I might just close the eyes and focus on the lyrics. Here we go. I could be a rambler from the seven dial. Don't pay taxes cause I never file <laughs> I don't do business that don't make me smile I love my aeroplane cause she got style I'm a treetop flyer Phenomenal on the guitar this man is. I fly in a cargo that you can pay to run. Mm. The Bush League pilots, they just can't get the job done. You got to fly down into the canyons. You don't ever see the sun. There's no such thing as an easy run. Oh, a treetop flyer. It's like a smuggler. I fly low, I'm in high demand. Oh, I like that play on words. Go 15 feet over the Rio Grande. I blow the mesquite right up off of the sand. Seldom seen, especially when I land. I'm a treetop. That's fly. right, baby. He's under the radar, man. Inconspicuous. Listen to this good song. Born survivor. Ship 
down a child who fails. And then some old boy walks up and he says, Hey son, I'm gonna make some fast cash. <laughs> Treat top like a girl. Well, there's things I am in this thing I'm not. I'm a smuggler and I could get shot. I ain't going to die. I ain't going to get caught. You see, I'm a flying fool in an aeroplane. You're just too hot. I'm a true top line. Man, it sounds so good, man. Usually work alone. Do not sleep on Steven Stills' vocal work on this song either. I know I'm hyping up, I'm hyping up the lyric, I'm hyping up the guitar work. But do not sleep on his vocals as well, man. They fit the story so well. It's like acting by voice. You know what I mean? Voice acting is kind of what I get here. Um, I could literally imagine being told a story from somebody who's lived a life like this in hearing it in song form, right? You could almost feel that ruggedness, that that long life of, yeah, I used to be in the military. They taught me some things and they taught me well. And now I took those skills to the civilian side and I'm doing some not so good deeds with them. Um, depending on who you are, maybe you consider it good deeds if you're on the receiving end of those products, right? That he's uh, smuggling in here. So clearly off the bat, I got the vibes of smuggling. He's talking about he doesn't pay taxes on his cash um, and then that he'll he'll move your stuff for a fee. Um, so immediately I'm just like, yep, sounds like somebody who's smuggling some goods, man. But I really like the way he paints that picture for you. He's flying so low. He's kicking mesquite up off the ground. You know what I mean? It's so low. He's 15 miles above the Rio Grande or something he said. Um, low flyer, man. He's under the radar. And then you get the, um, my wife, you know, I told her this is my last trip. He lands and like, hey, son, you want to make some quick cash? Well, I guess he's back at it once again. But I really like the connection of the military line because you hear and see that, you know, that's a real thing, man. People get taught certain things in the military and they come out and they use they use that knowledge and that experience and um, whatever their occupation was and they find things to do. And it's not always uh, the legal things that they're doing with that stuff. Sometimes it's on the other side of the tracks. So I thought that was really cool that they referenced back to that. Hey, where'd you learn to do this, man? Why are you so good? Well, I was trained by, you know, the institutions that be uh, the best of the best at this stuff. And that's why I can do it so well on the outside. Now I know what to look out for. I know what to avoid. I know how to avoid things. I really like that, man. So this was just so smooth, but it's rare to me where you get amazing lyrics and something's contending with it on the other side that is like toe for toe with the lyrics, right? Sometimes when there's just amazing lyrics, it's hard, in my opinion, for the music to keep up toe to toe with that. He did that right here. And it's like, is it just a one man show? Is it just Steven Stills? Because man, his guitar work was so good on this. Outside of the solo, which it's meant to just be the solo, you have a full body sound surrounding his vocals in the verse and the choruses that it's it's easy to forget that you're just listening to an acoustic it almost sounds like there's a bass back there it almost sounds like there's some drumming happening i mean that's how full body the sound is on this with just a man playing acoustic man that that's some special stuff right there that's some special stuff man let's learn a little bit about treetop flyer jenny you killed it on this and you killed it amazing all right, I would have to say to my surprise, we don't have an individual page for this. I thought for sure we'd have a page for this, but we get a link to the album instead. So on this album, we've got this one released definitely in 1991, as you stated. Um, the genre on this is considered rock, and the producers is Steven Stills, the Albert Brothers, Steve uh, Alamo, and Jerry Tolman. Okay, Stills Alone is a seventh studio album released in 1991 by American musician Steven Stills, the album features Stills on acoustic and electric guitar with minimal or no backing on the majority of the tracks. So we're not just talking about this track. Stills alone is literally what this album mainly is, it sounds like, man. Singer-songwriter Ray uh, Lamontang 
has noted in interviews that track 10 on this album, Treetop Flyer, is a song that convinced him to pursue a career in music. So there you go. This song inspired somebody who, if he's tagged up here, I, I would assume had some form of notable career. Um, down here, as far as personnel, you've got lots of people on production. But check this out personnel on this album okay not just this track this album personnel you only have steven Stills' name it's his vocals acoustic guitar electric guitar percussion nine so i'm assuming maybe nine different forms of percussion congas drums tambourine maraca i mean i, I think those are all considered like percussion like instruments um, you have additional engineering so there's been mixing engineering to make the sounds come full body full full to life but it was sounds like i mean you have just Steven Stills, man, producing or, or, you know, producing the sound, I would say, creating the sound that is on this. That's giant, man. That's huge. Um, you have on this album, I noticed there's other writers on songs. Everybody's talking from Fred Neal. Not familiar with who Fred Neal is. In My Life by John Lennon and Paul McCartney Partnership, I assume. And Ballad of Hollis Brown, Bob Dylan. So I'm assuming these three are covers on here, which is dope. Haven't heard Ballad of Hollis Brown from Bob Dylan yet, but man... Uh, you 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 know I'm trying my best to hear a lot a lot of Bob Dylan, but this was just fantastic, man. This was just a fantastic song. Sounded great, lyrical content. It has everything I'm looking for um, when I when I react to a song and when I hear a song for the first time. So thank you for this one, Jenny. Fantastic pick, man. I hope you guys enjoyed rocking out with me right here and Treetop Flyer. I'm assuming if you've heard the song before, it's pretty easy to understand. It's pretty easy to understand who we're talking about in this, uh, what what their occupation really is. And he lets you know at the end, he's a smuggler. You know what I mean? He's a smuggler. So really dope. Awesome, man. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed rocking out with me right here. Let me know if there's more from Steven Stills or the gang that you guys want to get around to. I definitely appreciate that. Thank you guys for hitting me up in the comment section, man. Thank you so much. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content I'm putting out on a daily basis. If you are, please consider becoming a member here on my YouTube or Patreon. Been a while since we got a new member. Always appreciate new members, man. Thank you guys for rocking with us. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out that description, and I'll see you on the next one, man. Peace.